Uh, finding a balance of consistency and improvement while management of expectations. Okay, this is the expectations one we're talking about. Okay. Mostly for me, it's the whole online advantage, like consistently high ping, bad servers. The disadvantages pose a lot of mental block, right? So this one's just talking about how to be mentally tough. Um, and again, I want to talk here about expectations as being the important part of the message here. So expectations are really a performance killer. Um, and I spoke about, you know, if you've been away from the sport for a while or you're coming back from an injury and you, you know, you think, oh, I've got some reasons why I, I probably won't perform as well as I expect, then you can have a really great match actually because the expectations are suddenly off you. The weight of expectations are off and you, you play much, much better than you expected to. And it's, it's because, you know, you're not carrying that burden anymore. And so I try to work with my teams by saying, okay, well, we don't really want to put expectations on us. Um, I don't want us to be thinking about outcome, um, you know, you know, winning the tournament or um, getting too far ahead of ourselves. I want us to play round by round and just doing the best you can in every round. And they'll all add up and the outcome will look after itself. So rather than having expectations, um, I, I would rather have my teams say to themselves, okay, let's just play our best. Now, I want to I describe a team where um, the coach would often come in and say, okay, everybody, we've got to do our best here. We've got to win this competition because if we win this competition, it means we can do X, Y, Z or whatever. And that moment is gone because I don't want, I don't want, actually I have to message him and say, stop saying that message <laughs> because I don't, I don't want my teams to, to think that way. I want them to not be concerned about, you know, who they're playing or the importance of the event. I want them to do the best they can with what they've got right here and now. And, um, and it took him, it took, it took him a long time to change focus because he, he realised that adding extra pressure to players wasn't helping their performance. Remember, we're moving away from our goal, um, not towards our goal. So I want my teams to do things that move them towards their goal. So yeah, uh, he yeah he he saw in the end that what he was doing was not right, and so he managed to change it in the end. With me donging him over the head with a big stick many yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um. Changing, changing your expectation for yourself. Just saying, okay, I'm just going to do my very best and round by round stringing them together and the outcome will look after itself. And you, one, of your expe uh, one of the things I do, as I said earlier, one of the things I do want to have my teams do is to have fun. I want there to be light comms. I want there to be humour. I want you to have fun with your teammates because enjoying what you're doing is actually very relaxing and it's very good for performance. Um, having a bit of a laugh and a bit of a joke. And I'm not talking about unfo not, not talking about losing focus on what the what you're meant to be doing, but I am talking about just having fun, just having yeah. fun with mates, uh, making it enjoyable. Enjoy, yeah. It's it's so good for performance. Don't be frightened of having that. I was gonna say uh, along the lines of expectations earlier. I think that's why mm -hmm. uh, when you asked me like what I would say to myself, I was I that's why I had the answer of like, uh, so be it. So I wouldn't have the expectation. Right. I, that that was kind of like the philosophy going in, into it's, it. It's still too, it's still too low. I want you to be aiming higher. So you should what, you should say, be positive, but have no expectations. Would you say then? I, um yeah, I want you, I want you to do the best the best you can, and like aim aim as high as you can. And if you don't quite make it, that's okay. But aim high. Um, so, or I, I, to do to do your to do your best is what I'm talking about. So I guess the difference would be like where your expectations are placed on because then what you're describing there is an expectation on what I have okay, control me, over, but go, an expectation go, of like the win. The next, uh, I'm going to discuss it a little bit later. I'm sorry, Sam. Can we, can okay. we wait? We'll, we'll, we'll get back into that one in a, in a little while. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay. So the other, the other part here is about, you know, being mentally tough when the ping is just horrible, when the servers are horrible, because that happens so frequently, right? Um, <coughs> Excuse me. 
Can I have a drink? <clears throat> Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> right, so no negativity on comms and don't complain about the ping because there's nothing you can do about ping, nothing you can do about the server. Um, so my teams are not allowed to mention it, um, and so you just have to be, just do the very best you can with what you got. That's all there is. No point complaining about it because it only makes it worse for yourself and for your teammates to hear this negativity on comms. So if you're continually bringing it up, it means you're mentally weak. We don't want that. So you've got to stop yourself from doing it. Don't mention it at all. The only things that you can focus on that you can actually control is your attitude and your effort. And um, that's, that's the only thing that you can control. So just do your best and get on with it is the, is the short answer for that one. Yeah. Just accept reality. Um, yeah. Right. 